Tokyo. I'm very glad to be here. Uh, after this, I will be speaking in Dubai in end of October, and then in the CFO forum in Hong Kong during the Hong Kong FinTech Week. I hope to see you there again as well. So before we go into too deep into these topics, I just want to give you a little bit background of our companies. So Constreet Partners, we are an investment bank for the token world. The background of our group is called BMI Group. We're a traditional investment bank in Hong Kong for 25 years. So we help over 100 companies do IPO in Hong Kong. In 2017, we set up Hong Street just separately as a separate company to do the token related corporate finance business. Our, our business model is very simple. We connect high quality global private investment opportunities to smart monies from Asia. And as a result, we create successful entrepreneurs and happy investors. The happy is actually most important because we want to make sure the investor is actually making money because all these STO investment opportunity are real right? they are not like um, what we have seen in 2017. This is completely different, I, I will explain more later. Our corporate structure, we have uh, seven subsidiary just to do the STO. STO is not very complicated, but on the other hand, it's not that simple either. It's not like just an ICO creating a token. It's a combination of traditional securities, legal, compliance, of course, technology, and many traditional wisdom on the, from the investment world. So we have a consulting arm, it's called Constreet Partners. We partner with uh, Securitize, Tokeny, and Polymath. We have our arms doing all the securities. When we're structuring the securities, we have all the broker dealer license, investment financial advisory license for BFI Group. Uh, we have our private placement at digital asset management companies regulated in Hong Kong and Singapore. Uh, we have our technical tokenization exchange platform company. And now we're also building a global STO alliance. I will tell you more about that. And we are looking for different partners, of course, also in Japan. Uh, you're welcome to join and talk to me after the event, if you have interest. And then last, our R&D arm. We have our R&D team in Canada. These are some of our previous projects and some of our partners. Oh, I forgot I translated the eyes. <laughs> Is that okay? So far so good? Okay, maybe later on in the second part, we will use translator. Okay, I think this is okay. Because mostly graphic, right? So, um, so this is a, a FinTech Association of Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, they have done this map, it's called the Hong Kong Blockchain Ecosystem. Uh, so we are, it's a big ecosystem, and we are very happy to be part of it. So we're here, a service provider, and also here as a financial service. Uh, we do forming business, token finance consultants, Digital Asset Management, uh, the Trading Tokenization Platform, and the DLT Blockchain Application. Okay, so I'm going to go in Token Financing Consultants. Maybe please. Token financing 
Because in day one, we use the concept of corporate finance. This is all corporate finance, right? It's nothing new. Traditional corporate finance, we have the debt financing. Basically, people borrow money from the balance sheet. And we also have the equity financing. Companies issue shares based on the P&L, right? It's earnings per share. That's driving the stock price. And now, we have the tools because of blockchain. Companies can issue tokens based on token <laughs> economics, which they can structure in many different ways. In Hong Kong, this is the regulator in Hong Kong, it's called Securities and Future Commissions. In end of March this year, they make official statement security token offerings, STO, is legal in Hong Kong. So we can officially issue STO in Hong Kong legally now. Of course, they have some requirements. They require traditional license, security license type 1, to do the dealing under STO. So this is a traditional license, what we call the broker dealer and financial advisor. Right? So they're using existing security laws in Hong Kong with the existing license to do it. Because of two main purposes. First, this license regulated company have to make sure they do the due diligence of the project. There's no scam project. Right? If someone wants to tokenize a building, we need to make sure the building actually exists, or the rent income they claims they have actually exists, right? The money is there, and things like that, right? If someone wants to tokenize a factory, you go in and do the due diligence of a factory. So that's a due diligence. Second purpose is to do the risk profiling for the investor, right? Because the type one license also responsible for all the AML checking, right? Whether the money is clean, and also whether the investor are qualified to invest, right? Because now STO restricted to professional investor and things like that. So, so type one, the license um, have to do the, what we call the investor onboarding, right? So they have to do the gatekeeper from the project and the investor. Right? This is to minimize the risk. Um, again, back to the BMI group. Uh, we are a local investment bank in Hong Kong. This is our chairman and founder. We're not Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs. We're a small local Hong Kong investment bank. But for 25 years, we have taken 100 companies, mostly small and medium company profit in Hong Kong. Uh, we have all the security license, what they call type 1, 4, 6, and 9, and a trust license. Uh, some of our recent press release on different partnerships. Okay, so many people ask, okay, how to do an STO, right? As I mentioned, it's not very complicated, but not yet not very simple. To do ELISO offering is almost a, like a 15 to 20 step, you know, from, from the business strategy, the securities, the compliance, to the technical, to the pilot placement, investor onboarding. It's almost like a mini IPO process. Right? My example will be, uh, if some of you might know where in the US, and they're the stock market, the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, which is very high requirement. But they also have the OTC 